Leo, welcome to your love reading for mid-October through mid-November. This is not the general reading. The general reading, if you missed the October general reading, check out the playlist for Leo. It will be there. This is your love reading and there is an extended. So what we're going to do is look into your energy with Oracle cards and just kind of get an overall advice where you are for mid-October to mid-November. And we will clarify your energy with some tarot. If you would like the extended where we look deeper into your energy, get more advice on what to do in relationships and love. And we will also look into the other person's energy that you're bringing into the reading. You can check the description box. You can get it on Patreon where you also get exclusive twin flame readings and the weekly meditations. Or you can go to my website and order them individually or as a playlist. So, Leo, let's see what's going on Ooh, in your energy. Okay, very interesting. Seek the truth. This is the Seven of Swords in the traditional tarot. So, do you feel like you're being lied to? in some way or yeah I feel like you think that somebody is telling you a false truth or something like that oh I was gonna say if you guys um, haven't watched the daily readings you'll get most of the updates for the channel during the daily readings and you get an energy update in the daily readings. so check those out Maybe you'll find some truth in those two. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like you guys um, are, are looking for some kind of truth. And whether that is a truth within yourself or a truth from somebody else, um, I think you are in this. It could be that you're searching for an apology even, or maybe you feel like you need to apologize to somebody. But um, let's see. Let's get some more cards. Oh, there we go. As I'm saying it, everything is flying out. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn energy. The Knight of Cups is the offer. So this could be the apology or it could be an offer. Um, and I feel like it has a lot to do with your stability. Or it has a lot to do with um, it's like the universe is trying to show you your, your lesson here and it comes to, it, it, it has to do with stability. And then we have the devil. So if you're not dealing with a Capricorn, um, there's just a karmic lesson in this. And then we have your card, which is the sun. So there's a lot of healing. The sun is the best card that you can get in a reading. So, and obviously it will, it will determine on what we get when we clarify the sun in the extended, but the fact that you have the sun here is really showing that a lot of things are healing right now. And it could be that whatever truth you're trying to find is that karmic lesson that you're having to learn, but it's going to lead you to stability, right? So, for example, if the truth is that you have to leave a relationship or you have to leave somebody behind or something like that, it's a lesson that you're learning karmically, but it will ultimately lead you to your stability. So I feel like there's some kind of emotional, you could also be dealing with a water sign if we have, since we have the Knight of Cups over here. Um, but I feel like you're having a lot of emotions about this, and, and I understand why. Um, you know, when we are not in alignment, oh, okay, when we're not in alignment with our personal truth and, and um, feeling good about ourselves on a daily basis, um, we can be triggered by other people very easily, but we're triggered by other people in order to heal ourselves. So the other cards that came out, so we have the star and we have the three of cups. And I don't typically go to third party situation with the three of cups, but it depends on what's around 
the card, right? That's how I determine. That's the feeling that I get. And when it when the cards fall out, the first gut instinct that I have with this card or with any of the cards, that's what I'm going to come out and say. And I feel like you're dealing with too many people. I feel like there are too many, whether it's on your side or whether it's on somebody else's side, somebody is learning a very valuable lesson in juggling or hoarding individuals. <laughs> I feel like somebody's hoarding somebody else. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. And I feel like this gift is being offered to you. This gift of stability is being offered to you. Um, whether it's being said in a conversation, whether you're having an aha moment, whether you're driving down the road and you actually see a sign that's going to bring you some kind of stability and you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I don't care how it shows up, but that gift that's being offered to you by the universe right now, it should not be ignored. There's something about this that is bringing you to a place of its peace. It's like it's freedom and it's peace and healing and clarity and abundance and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and um, all the ways, you know, um, and maybe it isn't a third party situation. Maybe you're healing and you're healing relationships right now by, you know, maybe you're speaking your own truth and you're healing relationships right now. Maybe that's what the Three of Cups is for some of you. But I feel like, especially with the star down here and the devil up here, there is some kind of lesson that you're learning. And it totally has to do with how you feel stable with yourself. But other people are involved in showing that to you. And it might be through deception. And that sucks. Really sucks. But... Sometimes that sometimes we write those people in our soul contract, you know, we write those people in so they can show us the way that we're supposed to be going, you know? All right, my friends. So I'm excited to get into the extended. If you would like to get the extended, check the description box below. I do have a few openings for personal readings the last week in October. Um, not a lot, but there are a couple of spots open. So go to my website and book a reading. I love you guys. Have a wonderful October. I'll see you in the extended and I will see you for your November readings. Bye.